Hi, I am Blair Gilbert here for MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores, Michigan, here to talk about crawl space ventilation. Putting a power ventilator that goes into one of the foundation vents. As you well know, I'm a little bit of a freak about moisture in the crawl spaces, trying to keep the humidity out of there and everything I can to keep it dry. Grade the dirt, keep the rain out, and so forth. So here, we're gonna talk about putting a power ventilator that goes into one of the foundation vents. A motor on some grill work. You take a eight by 16 foundation vent out. You install this in. As we are gonna control it with a dehumidifier controller, it's set for seven amps, which is gonna more than cover our little uh, half amp motor here. We can set this for 50% humidity. So when the humidity down my crawl goes to 51, that will turn on the power. This fan will kick on and it will push air out of the crawl space, drawing it in from my other vents that are either cracked or from crevices around the house. I don't like the fact that this motor is so mediocrely protected from the weather so I've taken a air deflector that we use normally magnet, magnetized for air conditioners and we put an air deflector on top of the cover here. When the rain comes, we have a driving rain, the rain will hit this and I'll keep this poor little motor dry. Here's the vent in question. Oh, drat. We got our hole prepped. That was easy. Not. So we got our fan assembly with the plug. Our humidistat is going to have to be in the crawl space. Because that is where we want the humidity to be controlled. Now this particular unit looks pretty easy to install. Get in the hole where we like it. Now we're going to reinstall the splash guard. This is a small low amperage fan that probably isn't going to cost much more than about 20 watts of electricity while it's running. Here's our humidistat connected to a power supply. Fortunately, because we're in a nasty crawl space, plugged into a GFCI, ground fault circuit interrupter. So if any electricity goes through me, it'll trip the circuit break. So here we are in my store. We're going to put together a little box assembly to control the foundation vent that we installed in the house. I've been having it run 24-7 right now and it's doing a fine job but it, I really don't need it to be running once my crawl space starts to dry up. So here's what we're doing. I got a humidistat designed to run a humidifier that will run 7 amps. I mounted it to a switch receptacle combination plate. Nothing fantastic, just to have it on a, on a box so that when I make my connections they can be inside an improved container. You do not want to do any wiring in 110 that's exposed. We took a switch receptacle plate for a 4x4 gang box. We drilled some holes. We're going to mount humidistat to the plate. All the humidistat is is a switch. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a plug, a box, a humidistat switch, and a receptacle, and we're going to assemble it, and I'm going to show you how to wire it so that when you put it together, it's legal and safe. And of course, this is going to be plugged into a GFCI outlet, so I will be protected. So, whenever we take and put a wire into a metal box, by code, we need to have a strain relief. We call these Romex connectors. We have our pigtail coming in that's many sizes larger than required to handle our amperage of our fan. We've got our wire strapped in here. So here's what we have. We have a black, white, and green wire. Well, the green wire is always the ground, and it's got to go to the box on its own screw, 
always tighten electrical screws tighter than you think. The homeowner is the one that's notorious for having a screw not tight enough. What happens when you take and you're going to switch a receptacle, what you have to bear in mind is you take and you always switch the black or the hot wire. The white wire is never switched. So here's our white wire coming in for power. And the white wire is going to go around the zinc screw. It also says white here in the back of the device. The black wire, the feed wire, black to brass. So what's going to happen is the black wire isn't going to go right to our receptacle. It would never turn off. Our black wire is going to go to the switch. The switch is going to go to the receptacle. So when the switch turns on, the receptacle will become live. Usually when you have a switch with two different colors, usually a switch doesn't matter if the wire is coming or going, but when a switch has two different colors, usually black is the hot feed and red is the switched output. This is not always true, but true enough that not giving any other directions, that's how you're going to do it. So here's our wiring. The black power wire. It's going to come in from our receptacle real tight. Our black power, when we plug it in, is live. It's going to come, it's going to go through the switch, and then feed the black side of the receptacle. The white neutral wire coming from our power goes right to the receptacle. So now when we plug this in, this switch will turn this receptacle on and off. We got our switch. So now when we go back into the crawl space, we're going to take, we're going to plug this into a GFCI. We're going to plug the fan in here. As soon as the humidity in my crawl space goes up to 50, the fan will run until it gets below 50. Then the fan will turn off. I won't be wasting electricity or moving air. I don't need to be. Humidistat controls this receptacle. So I plug in the vent fan that I installed last week. I can take this humidistat and I can set it for whatever humidity I want. As I raise it, we'll hear the fan kick on. So now when that fan's on, we're drawing damp air out of this crawl space, power venting in outside. We have another vent on the opposite side of this crawl cracked open. So when this fan runs, instead of trying to pull air through the house, it pulls air from across the house on a driveway, a dry area, pulls dry air through, and pumps it outside. Once humidity drops below 50%, this will turn off, the fan will get a rest, and humidity will build up, the fan will kick back on, and this crawl space will stay conditioned with the change of air all the time. Another quick tip, not so easy, but worth the effort, from MrHardware.com.